Hello, and what the heck is up, my Atlanteans? Look at my nails. These are press-ons that I got at the night market. There's this thing in my city that's called the night market, and it's basically like a vendor situation. Like, every different vendor, like, comes and they're able to, like, sell. It's mostly for food, but, like, there's, like, fun little things like this. So, as you can tell by the title, we have something very out of the usual realm for me. So recently I have accepted Millie into my life as my personal lord and savior. I was like, okay, the Barbie movie's coming out and I am excited. Like the trailer is getting me into Barbie. What? Oh, I, I, I'm like in this Barbie phase, but it feels like everyone kind of is at the moment. Just cause like all the dolls that have been shown were like kind of cute and they all look kind of like nice quality. I mean, obviously the difference is that they're like really expensive. I bought one, <laughs> not just this one from the movie. I also bought this one, which is inspired by the movie. As we all know, Barbie, like if we're getting a Barbie movie, we must be getting dolls, right? So obviously I had to get one myself. This is one of the cheaper options. This is the perfect day Barbie in the gingham pink dress. Yes, I'm really excited about her. We're gonna open her today. And we're also gonna be opening this one, which when I went to go look, it was also called the Barbie Movie Beach Day. I think it was something like that. And all of these do have a Ken counterpart. Um, it's just that Ken's like kind of boring to me, so I don't think I'm gonna get him. And I don't have any attachment to Ryan Gosling either, so that's another reason to why I'm not getting any Ken dolls, at least from my knowledge. I really want to do a video where I like go through all of the Barbie dolls and like talk about the ones I'm getting, the ones I don't want to get, and why. Like, I think that'd be fun. This is like the little beachy outfit. I would like when I saw this, usually I do not care for a Barbie doll, particularly if they are not like posable. In that case, I like gen generally wouldn't pick them up, but this one is wearing swimsuit inspired by the original Barbie, and I really wanted to see if these outfits were interchangeable. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. Body, I'll figure that out later. But anyway, okay, so yes, we're gonna be opening two dolls today. I'm really excited about it. This is so funny because I literally don't look like a Barbie person, and generally I'm not. I just think this is really fun. I mean, obviously, as a kid, um, I've had Barbies, but like they, like I never really were able to get into them because you know, growing up as a boy. But anyway, okay, so let's get to opening them. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start off with this one. This is the, once again, this is the Barbie beach day outfit, um, also inspired by the movie. So this is what Barbie looks, sorry for the ring light. This is what Barbie looks like in the box. I'm really happy that like it's the full thing, like there's nothing hidden, like you could see everything, you could see the quality of everything. Pixelation on her face isn't that bad either, so I'm kind of excited for that. She comes with um, a few little accessories that I'll get into, and then this is what the little illustration looks like at the bottom. Thankfully, it's like quite nice. Like I really did like the original aesthetic for the illustrations, but I don't know. Something about this new one is like like connecting with me more. Um, it does kind of look a little bit more kiddish, but I don't know. I still kind of like that. I like that there's like actual like value, if you know what I mean. It just looks really well illustrated and I appreciate that. And of course she has a little tropical theme behind her in her box. It's just a blister. On the side you can see that we have the little Barbie logo and on the other side it's the exact same. Um, that's it for the front of the box pretty much other than like the actual doll but we'll get into that later. And then on the back it gives you a little detailed description of her and all of the things that she comes with and how to put everything on. And then we have a little variety of other dolls that you could possibly get as well. Okay, so that is pretty much the box. Let's go ahead and open her up. Okay, so here is a better look at what Barbie looks like and everything that she comes with. Yes, okay, I'm gonna continue opening her up and we'll take a closer look at her and everything that she comes with. Okay, so real quick, you guys, this is what she looks like out of the box and I have to say, like, she feels pretty cheap. <laughs> like, she does feel quite hollow. We'll get into that later. I want to show you guys the little things that she comes with. First thing I got out is her little hat. This is also the same hat that is used on, like, Lydia Dietz. Um, I could also potentially use this on Draculaura. Draculaura does need a new hat. Yeah, so, I mean, if it doesn't work for Barbie, 
I might try it on Draculaura. We'll see. But otherwise, yeah, it's just like a knitted, oh, uh, it's like a, it's plastic, but it, it's like styled to be like one of those like woven hats and stuff. So like, that's quite cute. Um, let's see if it fits her head. Yes, it fits quite well. This is cute. This is fun. All of her other accessories were in like this little plastic encasing. First thing was this little tote bag. It's just made out of a soft, vinyl-y, translucent pink material. It's really cute. I do quite like the little stitch details that goes around the ends here and then the little X stitches that are on like, where it's attached to the bag. So yeah, I like that. And I like that it looks like kind of crumpled because she's like using it at the beach. I quite like that. Next thing she's got is this little phone. She's like a little iPhone girly. I really like the quality on the printing here. Like you could see everything quite clearly. And then on the back there's like a little thing where she can hold it and then there's actually a little Barbie logo on it too. I don't know if y'all can see that. Also she comes with this little ice cream. Um, it's like a mint color so I'm gonna assume that it's pistachio or something. And it's on like a little waffle cone so you could see like the little waffle marks on it or whatever. And there's like a little thing for her thumb to fit through too. So that's cute. Then for Barbie herself she's got this pair of sunglasses. They're just blue and they have a little white, white frame around it. Unfortunately it's not white on the sides it's just on the front. That's okay, that's cute. And then a little cat eye. Cause you know, Barbie's vintage. Here's her little gold bracelet. It's just like a three tiered bracelet. And then it has a uh, one slit in the back. So you could just like put that onto her and it's in like a soft plastic too. Then for a couple more little things, she has SPF 59 sunblock. Cause you know, you don't want to get sunburned. That's bad. You don't want skin cancer. And it has a little thing for her thumb as well. And as well as this little, I think it's a lipstick or a lip gloss. It's just a tiny pinkish purplish lip gloss and it has a little thing for her thumb too. Okay, finally, let's get into the doll. So this is what Barbie looks like. Obviously she has the basic Millie face. Her hair feels like Saran. I don't want to say it's Saran because I'm not 100% sure. Um, but like it doesn't look that dry out of the box. I mean it's kind of nasty because like you know she's like one of those budget dolls. But like it doesn't feel that bad. So I wonder if it's a Saran. Interesting. So obviously she wears a minimal makeup because you know Millie does that. Here are her little hoop earrings. They're like gold and like pearly. Um, Let me see if I can remove those because if I could remove those that means I can use them on other Barbies. I don't think, no, you cannot remove the earrings. And I love that she has like a little matching necklace. This is her little bathing suit. Um, she does also have this little cover up, which is pink with little white polka dots, but it's actually Velcro at the front. So you could easily remove that or reuse that somewhere else. And then that is her little swimsuit, but it is styled like the original 1959 Barbie, except this time it's white and pink instead of black and white. And I like that it actually ties in the back here. Um, speaking of the back, I've never actually had one of these budget doll Barbies, but on the back of this, it says genuine Barbie. Like, that's so cool to me, I don't know. Oh, and it's not, the swimsuit isn't Velcroed on, so it looks like you will have to slip it on and off. And then these are her little shoes. Honestly, I was really excited about the shoes. I really wanna try these on, like other Barbies. I'm really excited about this. So yeah, that is pretty much this Beach day, Millie. I love her. I think she's like really fun. I like the little things that she comes with. Okay, and then this is what she looks like with everything she comes with. Um, I gotta say, oops. I have to say, this particular body is just not doing it for me. While I love everything that she comes with, like playing with her like feels so weird. Like she's so like static, like her arms aren't bent at all and like her hands are like straight down. So like I can't even like, I don't know. Like this isn't... I don't know. I feel like that's like kind of makes me uncomfortable. Like she kind of looks uncomfortable. I don't know. I do really like all the pieces that she comes with though. So I will be reusing them for other things. So for those other things, let's get straight into the perfect day Barbie movie Barbie. I'm really excited about this one. So let's get into the perfect day movie Barbie also known as Margot Robbie herself. I purchased this last Wednesday off of Amazon. Um, thankfully, they also came out at the same time in Canada. 
like for Amazon. Also, I did find them at Toys R Us. So if you're in Canada, look at your local Toys R Us because they might have it. Um, I was really nervous about the faces. Obviously, when we first got the leaks, we were all kind of like, what? I feel like that particular doll though was kind of wonky. Like her eyes looked a little too high up. So looking at this version of the doll, I'm so happy. I'm trying to get a good <laughs> look at it without the ring light, but that is what her face looks like. I think that she came out really good. Like in person, she looks beautiful. I showed my best friend, I showed their family, and they all agreed she's really cute. Okay, so that means <laughs> they would never lie to me. So that means that she definitely came out really good here. I feel like on camera though, she does look kind of manly, but I think it's the bangs. I'll fix that. So this is what she looks like. This is what the box looks like. At the bottom, we have a little Barbie the movie logo. This time, it has a little holographic moment, which I think is super cute. It's very 80s vibes. I think this particular logo is taken from the 80s, which I guess, like, is the point of Barbie core is that um, it's inspired by the 80s Barbie fashion. Here is the doll, and then her background is just her dream house and like a little bit of Barbie land. It is see-through on the top and then on the side here we have a picture of her dream house, Barbie with a little B on the bottom and it's the same on the other side, it's just like backwards. Then on the back we have a beautiful photo of Margot Robbie herself in a different outfit. It says greetings from Barbie land, wishing you the best day ever and it says that in a bunch of other languages. And it says Barbie the movie at the top and then we have the legal stuff at the bottom. Guys, I don't even know how to describe how excited I am for this. Like, I have no idea why. Maybe because I love Margot Robbie and I like dolls, so like, this was like, match made in heaven. But as you know, I'm not necessarily a Barbie fan. So let's take a look at her and let's bring her out and let's talk about her. Let's talk about her. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open her up. So I just took Margot Robbie Barbie out of the box. Her packaging seems really high quality in comparison to this particular, oop, this particular Barbie. This is what she looks like. Um, so yeah, unboxing her was like super easy. Like all of, there were no like real tabs. It was all like plastic, like strips of plastic or like rubber that was like tied together and all you really had to do was detach them and could slide her right out. Only thing is there were little threads that were going through her hair that I haven't seen since I was a kid. So like, I think that's like really interesting. But she definitely feels a lot more luxe than let's say even a Barbie extra. She was definitely made as a collector doll. She, I think, no, these ones are not the signature ones. These ones are like the budget ones, the more playline e ones, but these ones are definitely more directed to adults. But yeah, um, there was just little threads in her hair, super easy. I just like ripped one out and like I could thread it through her hair. And she came out pretty easy. I was like kind of nervous pulling her head because you know I like to grip and grip her out of the out of the plastic only when she has a little tabs in her head. So that was easy to do but it was like scary. <laughs> I don't know. I like felt weir weird about it. Okay, so this is what the Margot Barbie doll looks like. She doesn't come with any other accessories but she is very pretty and really cute. So this is what her face looks like. As you can see, um, it looks a lot different in person than in real life, than in camera. I don't know how to explain it, but I swear to God, she looks a lot cuter in person. I just think it's interesting that they chose this, this type of bang style for her, even though in the movie it's very clearly like curtain bangs. So I will split this in the middle when I have the chance. She does have a real bow up at the top of her head, which is very nice, very nice to see. Thank you, Barbie. And it's styled in like a half up, half down situation, which I think is pretty. It is accurate to the movie, so this is what you get. <laughs> she does have two little earrings, two little daisy earrings, I like to say. And it is painted on the inside, so there's like a little bit of pink on the inside part of the flower. And she has a matching necklace that also has a little pink on the inside of each flower as well. So that's really cute. Let's see, can I remove the earrings? Let's see if I can remove the earrings. I haven't removed all earrings with my nails yet. And it looks like, oh my God, you can. Okay, so this is, this is good to know. Here's her little bracelet. It is also like little daisies and that has a little pink on the middle part too. It might be too bright for you to see, but. That is kind of just what that looks like. Yeah, there you go. And then here's her little outfit. So she has a little gingham dress on. I really like this. Um, the material isn't that impressive, but honestly, I 
don't expect it to be anything more. I would really like if there was like a crinoline or like some type of tool underneath. I know the YouTube channel at Zombie X Corn talks about um, a crinoline that they saw on Amazon, so I will put that into consideration, but for now, this is okay. So we have a little belt that does go around. It's not a real belt though. It comes apart at this Velcro in the back. And there's an actual plastic buckle in the middle. Wow, Mattel. Oh my God, what is going on here? It does look to be really well constructed. And I like the detailed like hemlines, the finished fabric at the end. It's actual pleated. Um, the fabric is obviously printed on. The pattern is obviously printed on, but I don't know how else you would want to do it if not for that. <laughs> Here are her little shoes. So they're pink little pumps, stiletto pumps. Um, this one came a little bent, but that's easy to fix. You just need some hot water and some patience. And then we have like a bedazzled little heart on the front of the shoes. There's nothing at the bottom. And yeah, that is pretty much her. She does come on the same body as a Barbie extra. So she can bend her elbow at just above a 90 degree. Her hand moves every which way you'd need it to. Her head moves every which way you'd need. Thank God. She has a hip joint, a knee joint, and no ankle joint, of course. Oh, and she has underwear on. Oh my God, okay. It's not a, it's not very fancy, it's not very exciting, but I th this is really nice. It just feels like just the more interesting i think in general anyway so that is her literally she comes it's just this like this is all that she comes with um she's 40 dollars. is she worth 40 dollars? i think if you see her as more of like a collector toy yeah she's she's worth 40 dollars. i don't think any any collector doll is worth any less than 50 dollars. so the fact that she's 40 i really like this this particular doll was 24 dollars, and i mean for her accessories and stuff, yeah, okay, she's $24. She Like, I I appreciate her enough to say that, like, yeah, I think she's worth $24. Canadian, okay? <laughs> now, the point of this video is that I'm really curious to see if this particular outfit would fit this Barbie. Just because I will be obviously bringing this Barbie to the Barbie movie when I go watch it. And also, I'm actually about to go on my trip to Brazil. And I was really hoping to bring this Barbie with me. And I think it'd be really cute if I was able to switch between the two outfits. So let's find out if we can do that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try that on. So before I put Barbie in her little bathing suit situation, I kind of just wanted to give you guys a nice idea of how the Barbie movie body looks compared to the other Barbies that I have at the moment. So this is what it looks like next to that Millie that I opened. Um, you could see that her body is a little elongated, um, but I have, I don't think there's going to be a problem um, with the, the outfit fitting onto this one. I don't think we'll find out though. But it does look like, if anything, this one's a little more wider. This one's a little bit more slender, a little longer. And just to also compare, this is what the Barbie extra bo body looks like. Um, interesting enough, she's a little bit more paler than this one. But I guess this one is to have the same um, body, uh, skin color as Margot Robbie. So it makes a lot more sense. Same thing, her body just seems a little bit more tall her, taller. Um, in the beginning, I thought I would need to shrink her head, which would entail a lot of acetone, and I did not want to do that. But, putting her next to the Barbie, she does look a lot more humanoid looking. Her head is more proportionate to her body. Also have the same joints for their legs, they have the same feet. Um, oh, this one has a little bit more of an arch. Um, let me see this one. Okay. So this one has a little bit less of an arch than this one. This one has more of an arch than this one. So better keep a lookout for those. I mean, obviously it's not too much of a difference. I'm sure that like all the shoes will fit each other. But yeah, that's just interesting to note. Okay, I'm gonna start putting her in her little bikini. Okay. Okay, so I finally put the outfits on and I'm proud to say that Millie's little bikini does fit on the Margot Robbie Barbie doll. It was a little hard for me to tie it on the back, so forgive me. Um, I'm new to the nails. But even the shoes fit quite well. The outfit looks really good. The sunglasses, while they're a little bit big, it honestly like suits her a lot more. And my actually it looks all like really big <laughs> on camera. But like, I think it just suits her a lot more. 
Yeah, I really like how this one comes out. Definitely bringing her to Brazil with me. And additionally, I did just want to take a look at um, Millie and like see if she would fit um, Margot Robbie's Barbie outfit. And thankfully, she was 100% able to fit it on. I mean, obviously the shoes fall off for all of them. Um, yeah, but like, yeah, this fit is really cute on her, honestly. Like, I don't know what's going on here. Like, why? Why she looks so good. The hat also suits the outfit too. Yes, I quite like this. Okay, so yes, outfits are interchangeable. Um, so if you want to switch out the shoes, the outfits, they all fit together, thank God. Overall, it's a good fit. It's Barbie. Barbie is universal with the, with herself. Hey y'all, so that is everything for this video. I hope you guys liked it. So overall, let's start off with the reviews. Um, the Millie Barbie is good. Margot Robbie Barbie is also very good. So um, I do recommend both. So if you're into Barbie, if you're you're probably more of a Barbie fan than I am. I just really like these particular dolls. I, th I really recommend both. Honestly, like they're all both kind of good. The outfits look really cute too. So I'm really happy about that. Also, like the Margot Robbie in particular does feel a lot more luxe. So for four, like 40 Canadian dollars, I'll say that she is worth it like she it's not bad i'll say it's not it's, it's a lot but it's not that bad i'm really excited that i can interchange their outfits that that means a lot to me you know i i love changing my outfit my doll's outfit and i'm really excited for the barbie movie coming out starring margot robbie herself let me know what you guys think about these dolls let me know what you think about the movie i'd love to hear it also let's start the conversation going i'm going to brazil i want to hear what you guys want me to post like so, do you guys have any ideas? I think, like, it'd be really cute if I, like, vlogged some, like, doll shopping and, like, what it's kind of like there. Like, I think that'd be interesting, no? But anyway, yeah, that is everything for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want. Hit me up in the links in my description. And I'll see y'all on the flip side. Bye-bye.